how many orbitals are there in the n equals three level of an atom? Well, first of all, there's a shortcut for the number of electrons that will fill or fit inside of any shell. The number of electrons is 2n squared, which for us is 2 times 3 squared, which is 2 times 9, so that's 18 electrons. And then, knowing that there are 2 electrons per orbital, that tells us that there are 9 orbitals inside n equals 3. But you probably wonder why that's the case, or you want to be able to explain it. So, the quantum number n equals 3 allows the value of the quantum number L to be anything from 0 up to n minus 1, which for us is 3 minus 1 or 2. What that means is that for n equals 3, L can be 0 or 1 or 2. And for any n that you're ever given, you count from 0 up to 1 less than that. Those are the possible Ls. Now I want to point out that this is the 3s subshell, which you've probably heard of. This is the 3d subshell. And no, sorry, that's 3p. Ha, ah, what a misspeak. And this is the 3d here. But what probably matters to you as well is how many orbitals fit in each of those. That's what ml is for. Now, ml has one distinct value per orbital. When L is zero, your job is to count from negative zero to positive zero. The value of ML is always negative L to positive L. Anyways, negative zero and positive zero are both zero. So here though, your ML can be negative one, and then you count all the way up to positive one. So there's three possible MLs for that L. What that means is that the 3P subshell has three orbitals inside of it. That shouldn't be a surprise if you know about the 3PX, the PY orbital, and the PZ orbital. These all look like dumbbells and they sit along each of the axes. The MLs for L equals 2 start at negative 2 and count all the way up to positive 2. All these quantum number rules might be making sense now. And this tells you that there are five orbitals in the 3D subshell. These all have special names. One of them is like the 3DZ squared. I think there's like an X squared minus Y squared or something. Uh, I personally haven't memorized them. But I want to point out to you how many possible MLs could we list for all of n equals 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, just like the shortcut told us. Beautiful. How many orbitals are there in any level of an atom? Start with your n, count your l's from zero up to one less than that, and then count ml's from each negative l to positive l. You'll have to do it separately for each of the l values that you have. There we go. Pretty easy, as long as you understand quantum numbers. Best of luck.